Hello, how are you doing, Missy? What's going on? I'm cooling in yourself. I see you in there rocking. <laughs> I'm, 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 tr I'm trying to make it happen. And what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do right now, because you in here with me, we're going to go to some Missy records. But before we do that, I just want to know how you're doing, how you're feeling. How's everything with you? How's, how's everything been treating you during the coronavirus outbreak? What's going on with you? First and foremost, I want to know that. I'm, I'm blessed. I'm most definitely blessed. Uh, I had to come out to the car because my signal's so bad in the house. I was like, we not going to have what we had last Thursday. So I'm sitting in the whip. <laughs> you, so you in the car right now? Yes, I'm in the car. Only for you. I thank come you, in thank the you. Car so I can make sure the signal don't go out. <laughs> now, la last week, I gave you... I gave you a video from about 20 years ago, maybe 15, 20 years ago of the night that we did um, Lose Control. Yes. And you didn't think, you didn't think that they act, there actually was a video. You said the rumor is there is a video, and I sent it to you. I said, Missy, I got it. What, yes. what, was the, what was the first thing that went through your head when you saw that video? Oh, my God. I, it, it took me right back to the session <laughs> like I, I felt like I was right there and I just remember you being in the booth I remember Sierra dancing and you made sure that she was in front of you so you could see and you was just coming up with the chance by watching her dance so it took me back that many years I felt like I was in that session again it's crazy you, you know you know the thing about it the crazy thing about it is that nobody knows that I did that in one take. Nobody knows that I did that in one take. It was sure one did. shot, and, yep. and, 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 and that was it. Just in case you just tuned in, people, we're talking to Missy Elliott. It's a throwback Thursday. I do this every single night. Missy's tonight, tomorrow night's Teddy Riley, Saturday night's Charlemagne the God, Sunday night's Black Thought. I, I, I talk to celebrities. I play music. We have a good time, and I'm going back to Missy. So, Missy, what happened at the video? Because all I remember is the record. I remember that I did the record, and then later that night when I got to High 97, you called me and you were like, this record is fire. You were like, this record is fire. This, this record is going to kill him. And I, re I just remember sitting there going, I'm going to have a hit record. I'm going to have a major hit record. <laughs> and I remember you put one single out first because they were trying to decide. I think Mike Kaiser was working with you at the time, and he was trying to decide – whether it was going to be your first single or the second single. So, so they called me and they said, listen, you're not going to get the first single. So I was like, you know, all right, cool, whatever. They said, but the record, I think the record's going to be a single. Next thing you know, uh, I believe it was Mike Kaiser called me. He said, yo, man, of course you want Hot 97. We're going to put Lose Control out as the second single, and we're going to need you to push this record on the radio. I said, don't worry. It's my record. I'm going I'm to do what I got to do. Right. I didn't have to do one thing with that record. That record just took off. And it and it went to the no, sky. You know, Did actually, you think that that actually, record was going? Actually, that was the first record. And you know, I had to fight them. Was it? I, I guess. And I had to fight them. Uh, I had to fight them on maybe I you know what I think it was because I had to fight them on that record because and I always bring it up to them because they said that it would never play on the radio because it was too fast and it, it made me realize not too long ago how the tempo of music was changing way back then because they thought that that record was too fast to be playing on they say hot 97 would never play it it's crazy uh -huh. and i i stood my grounds i was like yo this joint is going to wreck the clubs and and uh yeah that's what it did <laughs> Sure enough, it wrecked the club. And listen, that record was getting played on Hot 97 because Hot 97 was on that record. So now, later on, I turn around and I get a call from Atlantic Records. And I don't know if you call me or somebody from Atlantic Records could call me and they were like, it's time for the video. You have to come out to L.A. for the video. So I, I didn't know what was going on. I got off the plane in L.A. I slept a couple of hours and then I drove like three hours into the desert. I get there and we're out there and we're doing the video and stuff. I'll never forget... Part of the video, if you guys go look at the video, part of the video, we were dressed like people from the, the 1920s or something. Yes. And they wanted to put, like, 
They want to put. So, they had me in these pants that were like I can't even explain it. They were like half <laughs> pants, half shorts, and y'all had me like with Abner shoes on, and you had me with some crazy shirt on. And I just said, please, I, listen. If anything, just give me a white shirt, and y'all gave me a white shirt. Then we went to the we went to the desert, and I wanted to always ask you. You were in the desert, and I, and I was leaving as you got into the sand to do the part with the sand. Was that painful? Because they told me that. Like, like, like oh, yeah. ants and stuff were biting. Oh, it was ants. It was everything crawling on me. And they had to keep putting um, water in my mouth because I was buried literally underneath the dirt. And it was, remember, it was so hot. And they had to make sure that I didn't overheat. But, you know, my, all my videos, I'm always doing something crazy anyway. But, yeah, that was, it was torture. Torture. And, and then... And then during that video, Janet Jackson came. That was the first time I ever met Janet Jackson. And she had a little skinny Asian dude with her who had on chancletas. And if you know people, if you don't know what chancletas is, chancletas is like the, the, the sandals that divide one toe from the other four toes. And <laughs> Janet, said, Hel <laughs> yeah, Janet said hello to me. And I was like, hi, Janet, how you feeling? What's going on? And the other guy said, hi, I'm Janet's bodyguard. And I was like, you ain't nobody's bodyguard. You're like three pounds. What you talking about? I'm laughing. So he shook. He, he told me to shake his hand. He said, hi, how you doing? He shook my hand, and he did something with my hand, and I was on my knee. And I just said, after that, you know something? I'm going to go back in my trailer oh, and yeah. mind no, my business. Her, her security, no, that's the one that, that do jitsu and all kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 after, that, after that, I stayed in my room. I, I didn't want no parts of nothing. I didn't want to talk to you. I didn't want to talk to the dancers. I didn't want to talk to nobody. <laughs> I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave you on one note. You, the music that you make is so iconic, not only for regular people, but for dancers too, for dancers. How is, when you think about making a record, do you think about the choreography first or do you just make the record? Oh, I most definitely, when I'm making a record, the first thing I think about is the dancers. That's the first thing. I mean, even, even before playing it for... The record label, it got to go through my dancers first. Like, that's a must. Oh, sure. I, I, when I go, when I have sessions, I call my dancers over and they say yay or nay before it, it gets anywhere, <laughs> before it leaves outside the house. So the dancers are the first to get it. The dancers are the first to get it. I, I, I'm going to ask you one more question, but people, before... Before I ask that question, I just want to let you know if you just tuned in, you're rocking out with Fat Man Scoop and Missy Elliott. I do this every day at 7 p.m. 7 p.m. on Instagram Live every day of the week. I do it. Today's Missy Elliott. Tomorrow's Teddy Riley. Saturday's Charlemagne the God. Sunday's Black Thought. We got more people next week. And Missy, I just want to say one thing. I'm at 99.7 thousand people. I need 300 more of your fans to follow me, and then I'll be at 100,000. So I want, you, I want you to just tell your fans, please, to follow me before I ask you this last question. <laughs> All my fans, everybody that's up here, tell a friend to tell a friend. Make sure y'all follow Fat Man Scoop and get him his number. He, he said, what you say, you need 300? 300, 300. Yes, 300. As, we, as we say in VA, 300. We don't even put the drip. 300. Exactly. 300. <laughs> that, and that's, 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 East, that's East Coast right there all day. Yeah, we speaking did 300. Of, speaking, of, speaking of Vibe Beach, I want to ask you one question. Yes. Of course we know Missy Elliott, we know Timberland. Yes. For people that don't understand... For people that are not like me that have been in the studio with Timberland, explain what the process is like being in there with Timberland, who's an absolute musical genius. Oh, man, like being in the studio with, with Tim is, you know, we, me and Tim have been together since high school. And you just never know. Like, he, Tim, sometimes he'll give you hype. Sometimes he don't. Sometimes he may come in and be like, he, like when I did uh uh when we did the so addictive album, uh you know not not so addictive un, um uh under construction when we did under construction, he I begged him to come to Miami to do the album in Miami and 
he was so you know we had been out in LA because each place we kind of do go to a different place to get a different vibe so we had just came from LA from doing the um so addictive album and so I was like listen let's do this 